And hello, world. Welcome to this edition of having another drink of Sprite. And getting adjusted. I don't know what it is. Whenever you start, you, like, I don't know why I can't do that before we actually hit the camera on um, and, and get things going. But that's the way it is. How's that lined up? That's lined up fine. Um, yeah, it's lined up great. Uh, so, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to start doing episode names or whatever. I did that for, I do that for my little car vlog thing, which nobody's seen yet. Someday somebody will, once I actually put them up. Uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about tonight. Tonight we're here to talk about uh, some stream stuff. So what we're doing tonight is um, figuring out mic distances, I guess, a little bit. Uh, going through and um, I've got my little page archiver, which is the thing that makes these links for me. So throughout the day, uh, there's a little Python script that is called by a launch D script that in turn calls an Apple script that grabs all the UR, goes through all the windows of Safari, goes through all the tabs on all the windows, grabs all the URLs and titles, pulls them out and puts them into Markdown for me. Um, and what you end up with is uh, let's see, browser, whoops, content. Let's give it a number. What you end up with, so it just does this, right? It just makes markdown links. So it just dumps a text file for, or actually, yeah, it actually creates and dumps this file for me throughout the day. So if I look at my um, stage version, uh, you can see that it's going for today. Uh, it won't, whoops, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I know what's going on. I'm not showing future posts because it automatically timestamps it for midnight or a second before midnight. So Hugo serve with the future. So I'll take a second to spin up. Here, uh, oh, the places I went. Um, That's the new name, right? No, I, I've got a new name for it. Actually, it's Oh, the Places I Goad, um, which I was trying to get to the first time I did it, and I couldn't quite work out. I didn't make it all the way there. So um, the uh, if I get sued by the Dr. Seuss Corporation, but I figure like he'd like the word like goad, so hopefully they'll let me have it. Um, but so here's today's links. Um, so far, because it's just it's collected this over the course of the day. So like right now, I've only got my 12 tabs open. Um, but here's all the stuff that I did so far today. Um, and I'll go through and what I've got is um, a config file here that does some exclusions for me. And uh, you know, it's basically stuff like I don't need to link to my Twitter account all the time, right? Like people can click to get to my Twitter notifications. That's not something that you like if you're in Twitter and you go there, you're going to see your notifications. You're already going to get there. Um, I dropped this, the homepage of Stack Overflow. I go to individual pages of Stack Overflow, but stuff like that, localhost and launchpad, these are things that are local to my machine. Nexus, same thing. So I drop all these things. And um, the other thing that I do is these title updates. So when titles come in, oftentimes, uh, and Google search is a perfect example. So if you don't, f when they come in, the, the title, and it makes sense, is Amazon dump RDS table dust three Postgres slash Google search. And then equine slash Google search. GPD, GPG slash Google search. But what that does is it spreads, since I alphabetized the list, that spreads the, the Google searches all over the place. So this little regular expression looks, uh, the, the process basically goes through and looks at all the titles, runs all these regular expressions over them and makes some adjustments based on them. So we grab Google search and we move it to the front so that we get this kind of lineup where 
Google, all the Google searches are together. Um, there's a few other things that I do like that, uh, that are here. Like these are all of them. And so like these, I actually just completely drop. So, um, one of them I think is official music video. Like, so if I'm going to YouTube and looking at videos, like official music video gets added to a bunch of stuff, like, yeah, so what? I don't care. I just wanted the title of the video. So I drop that, I drop US version um, and, and things like that. But I started getting to the point where there's enough of these regular expressions that are just sitting in my config file. I kind of had some other ones that I want to add. Um, But like it got to the point where I'm like, you know what? I should probably be testing these. Um, and in the config file, like it's one thing, it's fine. And I'd probably get them right most of the time. But like I'm, I started to get a little bit worried because one of the things I also want to do is do some truncation. So like Amazon links, the titles of them are six paragraphs long because people just load in as many keywords as they can to the titles. So I want to do some truncation. And as soon as I kind of crossed that threshold, I was like, well, let me let me make sure that the that I'm really kind of getting this stuff all lined up. So first thing I'm going to do is pull these regular expressions out um, and I'm actually going to basically hard code them into the software instead of having a config file and then set up tests for them, um, which is going to be a little bit overkill and maybe a little tedious to start. But hopefully once we get the structure set up, it should, I hope, go relatively quickly. Um, and well, there's still going to be a config file because um, I'm still going to use the replacement kind of mechanism that I have, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to split out the I'm going to split out the the excludes from their own thing and split out the the regexes for their own process. I don't know, whatever. Let's just jump in and get started and see what happens. Um, yeah, so here's the here's the basics of the file um, that will bump into parts of this as we move down it. Um, the actually, I want to see something. If I mouse over that, I come in here. Yeah, so it, you lose your scroll if that thing if you if your mouse ends up over that, which I don't like. Um, so it's gonna take me a second to get back in here. So build the markdown link, right? You pass the URL and title. That's what makes the markdown string template data template date sorry cool i'm not even sure if i'm using that anymore clean data remove excludes right so here's where we drop all the exclude files which this one was a little bit tricky to get my head around um because it needed to do a loop and a loop somehow yeah see i don't like that why does it keep doing that I swear I turned that off at one point and that's back on. Or maybe I just happened to mouse over stuff differently. I don't know. Um, I don't remember the logic behind this, but it basically makes sure that you, you, you load in the existing data set and then you go through and if you hit an exclude, you don't add it to a new data set if you don't hit an exclude by looping through it, you do add it. And then so the, the new data set is returned. So that's how I'm purging all the uh, all the other things, uh, which there may be a different way to do that. I'm sure there's different ways to do that. Um, there may be a better way to do that, but this is what I came up with. And that little for the, the nested for loop with the return false and kicking up was this. That took a while to get that one. I should write that one up. Uh, this up from the page from page archiver clean data titles okay so here yeah so here's where we do the actual cleaning um and i don't remember yeah so here's all the all the patterns that i actually want to do and this is why i started getting all these and some of them are are jumping back and forth a little bit um and I hit the point where it's like, okay, I want I want more of an actual test here um, for the way that these things are bouncing around. Also, make sure that they don't collide. Um, yeah, so clean data update titles. 
right so now how so self see this actually goes through all of the titles independently and really kind of what i want to do i think is just update is like make a pull out a method that just updates the title. Uh, so let's do this this way. I'm gonna call this def test clean data update title singular. Oh, actually, you know what I should do? PT, right? Python test. There we go. Just run this, make sure everything's cool. Test passed, all right. And so we can actually start with one of these. Um, oh wait, see, that should have, I wish it would run the full file. I mean, I get why it doesn't, but like if I go here, it's actually going to explode because there's that string in there that's intentionally telling me to start here. Start work here, intentional red. That one. Yeah, so really what I want, so I could... Well, do I want to use this existing thing? No, I want it because that's that's looking at an object and you have to pull up the thing for an object. I want to just get to the title. I'd want to just work on the thing that I'm working on. Um, so here is and this is also gonna be interesting because I think there's something in here that I want to that I might want to adjust the title based off the URL but I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, here, we'll just pick the first one. Oops, so we just need the title. Cause I'm only gonna pass the title. Ooh, and I'm gonna do it in quotes. Let's maybe not do one with quotes or craziness. Here. So, this is what comes down, but what I actually want to have is this. So that's the target. So this is going to fail. Now it's going to pass. All right, so we got everything lined up there. And now actual equals clean data data update title title equals whatever so this is going to fail because that doesn't exist i should probably name this something different but I should just call it clean title, right? Clean title. Clean title. Still failed. Why did it fail? Oh, probably because you got to have a title coming in here. Not do things explicitly. Still failing. Why is it still failing? Ah, because we're not doing this. It's UA, right? Yes. It was used to be uh, URL archiver, and now it's the page archiver. All right, let me just make sure. Yeah, we can get the green. All right, what error we got going here? 
Oh, uh, clean title. Has no object clean title. Didn't we? Oh, didn't update it there. How about now? Now it's probably not having the return value the same. Yep. So now we're just going to hard code this to get passing. And we're passing. Sweet. So now we can actually do our work. Um, so the first thing is we want to actually pass in initial title. Which is this. And this which will still pass because we didn't really change anything. Passed. And now what we want to do, where, so where do we want to store the regex? For right now, I'm just looking to get them moving as quickly as possible. So I'm just going to throw the, all the regex directly in here. Self um, title regex replacements patterns. And that's, that can just be an array of arrays, right? Actually, hang on, I'm not testing this right. I'm gonna practice this right. So, well, actually, let me even let me do even better, right? So we're just gonna do the we're gonna get the one working, and then we'll figure out what to do with it. I was jumping ahead too much. Um, so we're passing that. Clean title. So let's just move this to a variable, which makes sense. Sweet. And so now we can do, I'm assuming we have RE already called in here, right? For regular expressions, yeah. Um, so clean title equals regular expression substitute title. So this is going to fail because it's got the wrong regex or there's no regex there, right? Yeah, Twitch developers, authentication, whatever. So now I can play with the regex and get it going. And for that, I'm going to steal one of these, right? So the regex is this. And then what's the syntax? 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 Whatever. Also, I should put that in the quotes. Didn't, ah, come on. Happy? Why does it look like that only copied one slash? Wait a minute. Oh, when you paste, does it, it took out a slash when I pasted. Mm, I don't like that, PyCharm. Nope, don't like that one bit. What happens we run now? Oh, it didn't work. Because we said YouTube, which is not what this is. This is Twitch developers. There we go, passing. All right. So now we got that working. Um, now what we want to do is, I guess we can commit that. 
Oh, yeah, I made some updates. Update to do's. I'm sure there's a hotkey to get there, but I don't know yet. And then add clean titles. Shameless green. No, I would like to just do them. So now what we can do is roll these out to a list, I think. Um, well, actually, so yeah, so we could do this. I'm trying to do this as baby step as possible, um, and so Instead of throwing them into the into the instance list, we could just do this, right? Regex patterns. And then mm, let's actually do them in the same way that we had here, pattern replacement. I like the explicitness of this. So here's our pattern. Here's our replacement. That should be okay, yeah. So this should still pass because we haven't actually done anything yet. Yep. And now we do for pattern in regex patterns. Clean title equals so let's just move this up here, make sure everything still works. And then we can do our substitutions here. So pattern pattern. It's kind of creepy. Still works. Pattern replacement. Still works. So now we're just looping through them. That's cool. And then just to make sure it really is a thing, we'll do a replacement there, make sure it breaks, does break, breaks the way we expected. Yes, right there. Okay. Whoops. Why is it undoing? There we go. So now I get rid of this. All right. So there's our clean method. And now it's just a matter of building the replacements and testing them. So that shouldn't be awful, hopefully. He says, cursing himself. Uh, well, the other thing I want to do, so we can do this, right? Self patterns. So we can do this. Still works. And now we can move this somewhere else. I'm just going to put this down here for right now. Still passing, still passing. I don't know why that's highlighted. Doesn't seem to be bothering anything. Uh, sweet, so I think that's it for that, right? Now it's just a matter of... Um, 
now I'm actually wondering just about the back and forth of doing all this stuff. Um, let's clean this up. In terms of if I wanted to actually have the patterns be in their own separate file. So they're in a config file now. Well, I guess I could keep them in the config file. Yeah, I could just keep them in the config file. Like, there's no reason not to do that. Yeah, why don't we just do that? Um, but in order to do that, I need to load the config file here as I'm doing these tests. Right, so... Let's break it. So what does it actually get loaded into in the config file? Title updates. What's this called? Title updates. Yeah, that's what I put it in. And it's the same. Yeah, it's the same format. So yeah, let's do this. So this is going to break because we don't have any title updates. Yeah, reference before site. Yeah, so it it's not looping through anything. Um, oh, maybe that's why it doesn't like it is because it's not. You know, this always messes with me a little bit. Does that make it happier down there? No, it's still, whatever. But we'll get a different error this time, right? Because it's, it's assigned, it's just the wrong thing. Reference before assignment. What? Look very clean title. Reference before assignment. Return clean title. Did I put that in the wrong place? I put that in the wrong place. Let's try it down there. Does that make the yellow go away? That is. Okay, so that's what it's complaining about. Now it's different because we just don't have, we're just not returning the right thing. I actually kind of like this, like let's sign it up here instead of just having it be down here. So that's cool. All right, so now, oh, I wish there was a way to comment, JSON. Um, let us put this pattern in our config file. That was kind of weird. <sighs> Come on. What's wrong with that? That should be fine. I don't know why that's angry. It worked as, because I'm trying to escape that from the regex pattern. Oh, wait. Right, I have to do that to pass in. Do I have anything else that has a... So that's an escape. Why are those escaped? Okay, I'm confused, but we'll see what happens. So still busted. Let's actually get back to green real quick. Uh, what am I doing? I probably should have put it in alphabetical too. Clean data, clean title of this. Okay. Authentication? Is that what it was? Yeah, that was it. Okay. Um,. So we're gonna hard code this down. Well, no, it's fine. It could be there. Uh, 
so now, okay, so we can get the green, we're at green. Now we just need to load our config file, which I'm gonna go ahead and do in the setup. which is, where's our load config? Probably with the lo load configs. Then it takes an array of file paths. Support JSON. Nope, support config JSON. What's that gonna do? It exploded. Switch developers, not equal switch developers. No, oh, actually, yeah, so it's now. This process is looping. Just make sure we're loading it properly. Hang on. Actually, didn't do that. Yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah, so that's good. All right, it's still going to yell because this loop's actually happening. Oh, wait a minute. Clean title. Hang on, how was I doing this other loop? Oh yeah, it was doing it on itself for the object key. So that's how it was looping over it. That's why, gotcha. Um. So really, it just needs to update itself. That's no problem. Because what was happening is when it was looping, it keeps assigning the title. Here on every loop that passes back through here. So one of the times it probably caught the replacement first time, actually, because it's an array or a list. But then all the rest of the times, title came through unaltered and then ran back through here. So what we need to do, I think, is this and this and this. What does that do? There we go. I'm not 100% sure if that's the right way to do this in Python. I think it is. Like. I'm just reassigning the thing, uh, a new thing to the variable title. Um, so, I mean, that should be fine. I mean, it seems like what you should do. Uh, it's also working and testing, so there we go. Uh, so that, and now I can get rid of this. We don't need this anymore. Yeah, so really all I've done is pulled is pulled that method out so far, but it's still doing the replacements. And now what I can do, I wonder what I've got on test update titles. What does this test look like? Because hopefully I can just do this as a drop-in replacement. Probably gonna need this open. Not that though. How's this test work? Expected. So we set title update. So this is actually, this is a, the equivalent of loading the config. This is populating with object data. So this is gonna be something we have to do something a little different. And then it cleans the titles, which does it in place.
So the question is, so what I'm going to do, this is, this is working. So I don't want to mess with it right now. Or I want to, I want to be able to roll back to it very easily. Right? So old. I'm just going to try this and see if I can make this happen pretty quick. Um, So the object key is really the URL. Uh, should I change that? I'm gonna go ahead and change that right now. Cause I've got a test behind this. So this will just make it a little easier to see if it works. Okay, yeah, it all works. Yeah, for UL and object data, which is really, yeah, that's cool for title update and self title updates. Take the object URL, replace it with, okay. So this comes down from the config. So the first thing we're gonna do, wait, no, we don't have to do that. Yeah, we do have to do that. So I'm gonna load the config cause we definitely are gonna need that. Where's my load config? Oh, it's already loaded. So that might mean we can just take this out. We can, okay, yeah, because we're loading the config. That was a mock for the config. And see, this is kind of an integration. Oh, it's definitely an integration test now. Um, Title update and title update. See, we don't, this is all gonna go away. I think for URL and self object data. Self object data, URL. I'm just gonna assign it to itself for a second just to make sure I'm not do anything weird still passes right okay and then all we want to do is self object url equals clean title title with that as the title does that work no broke it self That works. Okay, so that's, we're not using it yet, but it's at least not breaking the, it compiles. But so we might be able to do this. And we passed, okay. I like that better too. And now we get rid of this one. That was our backup. Yeah, I like that little function, a little shorter. I still struggle a little bit with one method that calls another method. That is not the other, I mean, I'm not in the right things, but yeah, so this does a loop which calls this other one. So yeah, cause you want, I still want, yeah, I still want, like the loop needs to be independent from the thing. I don't, that's what I've, I'm looking for is the separation so that I can just test the replacement coming on the title right here. Um, and then the loop just does the, is it, necessary to test the loop I'm just because this is this is testing the same thing right clean data update titles for the URL which is the key 
in object data equals clean titles. Like that's not, there's nothing to be tested here. This is just a for loop. Am I missing something? Yeah, this is really just testing a for loop. There's no, because all the action happens right here, which is already tested. So we can actually just get drop that whole test. Right, and now it's just a matter of going through uh, and doing all the regex. And so this, right, so this is just going to be a bunch of repeat, right? And because it's going to be a bunch of repeat, let's set up... Um, Test patterns is going to be a list. Title, uh, actually, yeah, initial title. that I should have kept it there but whatever I like the idea of saying one step away from green which I'm not right now well I mean I could be really easily because I just commented that out and I'm green again um, but for test pattern in test patterns Expected equals test pattern. I guess what you call it expected. And then actual equals clean title with. Test pattern, initial title, right? So is this gonna work? And let's break one just to make sure we're really there. Yep. So now we can just feed our pattern straight in here. Uh, and make sure they work. Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to do the hard one yet. I guess technically I should go through and do the other ones, but whatever. Yeah, it's really mainly the harder ones that I'm worried about, but we'll see how this goes. That was weird. Um, so really what we want to have is this. With this, with this, with this, with this, with this. This, da, 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 da. Now we're going to copy all this. We're going to do text expander.
ASDF, semicolon. Whoops, no. Sorry, we want this. And now we should be able to do this to get them in there easily. There we go. So ask up on to, and I want to drop bash out from the front. And do this. So this is going to blow up. Uh, let's make our config over here. I'll get back here. I think we can do this one from Stack Overflow. Here. Ask one to past. Oh, I should have put a. Let's just copy it. Where's PyCharm? There it is. Uh, this one. Stay there. Now where to go? How's this gonna work? There we go. All right, might as well do the crazy one. That's all the URL. There's our title. Ah, but it's in quotes, or it's got a quote in it. So for this one, Actually, a quote there, right? You know, we should probably. Well, it's fine. There's probably not that many other quotes, I don't think. So that's gonna be barf, barf. So we know that's at the end. Actually, we want all of this. Oh, actually, we don't need that up there. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Pass. Uh, okay, just a couple more, and then we bounce off this because I can. Like, there's no point to do this on stream. Um, we got that one. I do want to get this one. I want to do a couple of the Twitter ones just because I want those to be in the mix right now. Um, so Twitter, this one's going to be, Hey Vector, how's it going? Man? Uh, I don't know really what I want to do for the pattern on this one. Maybe just this. Yeah, I like that better. 
We're doing regex right now for a little bit. Because I'm trying to clean up my uh, my little URL scraper. Let's see how that goes. I've got the uh, I've got the pattern, like I've got the process set up. I can just feed it regex and um whatchamat thing, the replacements. Ooh. GraphQL endpoint. Never mess with it. I've uh I've seen it and heard of it, but never actually like mess with it, mess with it. That's the something in nodes, right? Is that the graph one? Lines and no, no, it's not lines, I can't remember what it is. Yeah, regex fun. Alright, so this is gonna explode. Yeah, so I'm moving my regex into tests just because some of them are getting a little crazy. And I wanna have uh um that's cool. Are you is this something that you're building or something you're banging against? Building, nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's uh, at the rate that I'm going in about three years, I'll stream some GraphQL stuff because um, that's, I think, about the right time for me to catch up with it. Uh, all right, let's figure out this pattern. Is it for like a personal project, work project, or you just messing around? Yeah, DDD stuff. I'm trying to get. I've decided that for the next while, I'm going to be really like kind of strict TDD just to practice it. I don't expect to be as strict with it forever, um, but I, I kind of like it. And I've got this methodology that somebody taught me that's basically like staying one step away from green all the time. So you're always really easy to get back and you make a little progress. And if it freaks out, you can always just roll back. Right on. Yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm really liking it. I, I didn't like it. I don't do that much code stuff or haven't in a long time. So it's only in the past year or so that I've probably got my head kind of like into and around TDD and like how to get the stuff tested. And like, I was just doing a thing where I realized I was testing a for loop and I was like, I don't need to test the for loop. I just need to test the thing that the for loop is doing. Um, and cause I had all this weird setup to test the for loop it's like that that one's gonna be okay like I, I trust python to do a for loop properly all right okay yeah that's um i've never done any of the transport level stuff that's outside my kin as they say uh oh you know i should do uh i can put in like 10 of these that don't have anything right and it won't break because it's just blank patterns. Is that going to work? Oh, I'm still failing on that one of the pattern, but it's not exploding everywhere. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're going to cheat right now. And put this in. And put this in. Which I think... It's gonna explode still because it's looking for this. Oh, just wiring up logic. I got gotcha. you. R yeah. Okay. So you're just doing like A needs to talk to B, that kind of stuff. Is that right? Uh, this. That there's the tests, yeah, yeah. When I was first doing TD stuff, that was um, or TDD, whatever test TDD. Um, I was messing around with Ruby on Rails, and that was one of the things I was trying to figure out. Like, I kept trying to test the browser a little bit, like you like UI stuff, and like I was looking at firing up Selenium and doing all this other stuff. And that kind of turned me off to it because it's like it, it seems like I should just be able to test the logic aspects of it without having to test all the rest of that mess, at least to start with. Um, and so that kind of threw me a little bit. Um, 
but then I got rolled off of that and I do more like the Python stuff right is a lot easier because or all the Python stuff I'm doing is easier because it's all like on the box like and occasionally I hit the file system but increasingly I'm I'm abstracting away the file system um, I'm not even mocking it I'm just saying okay like what would we see coming in and try and make it like piece by piece or line by line or whatever so it's still I'm still not all the way there yet but I'm kind of making some progress getting my head around that uh, any number of decimals or digits, whatever. Nope. Explode. Oh, you got to do two. You got to double thing it. There you go. Okay, so there's that. And then we can do anything. So there's a space. That star question mark because we don't want to go all the way. But then we do another space. Let's see if that passes. It does. And now we should be able to use this in the replacement here. See, this is why I wanted to add tests in here. Because this, like, all of a sudden we got nasty, basically. Some of the other ones where it's like, hey, move Ask Ubuntu to the front. Okay, no big deal, but like, yeah. Yeah, and that's that's where my head is too with this stuff. But again, when I, when I was first doing it, like it was one of those I didn't really, I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't have a good, like I was just kicking around and seeing like blog posts or whatever. And it just, there was nothing really that got me through it. Um, but I went to, uh, the, the big thing that got me there was um, uh, Sandy Metz, who she wrote this book, Practical, Practical Object Oriented Design in Ruby, um, which I read and then ended up going to one of her classes. Um, and that's when stuff clicked basically for me. But it took, that's one of the times when I really realized I learn either by doing or by going to a class. Book stuff, if I've already got my head around it, books are helpful. But if it's like I'm brand new to it, I like books aren't as good for me. Um, I don't know if that's everybody, but it's definitely for me. Yeah, she's. I, I've only read like a couple of Uncle Bob's things. Oh, wait, did he write? What did he write? Did he do clean coder? I feel like I read something that he did. Yeah, clean code. Okay, all right. Yeah, clean code blog. Yeah, that's right. I think I read clean coder. Um, I right, know I did. It's been a while though, so I don't remember it um, much at all. I still need to do... Um, What's the Gang of Four book that everybody should read? The Design Principles one? Yeah, Design Patterns. Um, and then there's another one that I just got. I can't remember what it. You read part of it? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's one of the yeah Design Patterns. There you go. Sorry, I just saw it come through. Um, uh, This is another one that um, I saw a bunch of people recommend that I actually just got on Kindle for nine ninety nine. Uh, that I don't know, a bunch of people in the on Twitter looked at it and were like, "Hey, you should get this," and I was like, "All right." So, oh, I've heard of that one. Tackling complexity in the heart of something, something, something. This one. They like that one. All 
All right, I gotta get that font smaller. Wait, is this? First edition, oh, first edition. How's the first edition on Kindle? That's cool. Uh, hang on a second. Books. Books to read, and I'll actually add it to here. Whoops. Well, that works too. Uh, let's grab the title of it. Cool. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. I'm going to do that philosophy. I'm, I can't read multiple books at the same time. Um, some people couldn't do that. Doesn't work for me. Um, but I'll, I'll look at this. I'll add that to my list. I'm trying to get back into actually going through and reading more of this stuff. So I will get to that soon. Uh, and maybe I can actually get my boss to pay for it. <laughs> Uh, thankfully, I can afford $44 if I have to, but I would still like my boss to pay for it because that would be awesome. Uh, and like, it's helping me. Uh, is Regex... Start with the demand judgment drag. Oh, quick. Oh, okay. Many books. Free download. Hello. Oh, screw you on your email. I'll find it. Yeah, I'll get it. Um, I'll find it. Um, the, I mean, yeah, actually, sure. If you want to fire it over or whatever. Um, the, uh, I, don't worry about it. I'll find it. Um, and I'll actually, I'll probably, is it basically the same thing? Like, so here's the trick is, is if they're basically the same, I'd kind of rather read the big one first, or read the big one, period. Um, air space, uh, most complicated. Or is this, like if I was, if I was only gonna read one, which one would you read? I guess is the question I should ask you. Um, it's like a summary. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the big one. I kind of like getting down and getting into the details and, and seeing it. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably just do the big one. Um, because that's, if I'm going to read it, I'm going to read it, right? I, uh, I, I This kind of stuff. Well, actually, I'll, I'll put it this way. If I read the first chapter of the big one, I'm like, eh, not so much. Then I'll get this one. And give up my email. Or one of my 700 emails. That may or may not actually connect to anything. Uh, whoops, where am I going? Here. Uh, is, is at... A regex pattern. Oh, that's what I should have. Do I have... No. What am I looking for? Stop. Find. What's the Python... Regex? No. Where's the tool? <laughs> right? What's that uh, XKCD thing where it's like, we have 15 standards, so we need to like really focus and make a good standard. And then you have 16 standards. I feel like it's like one of those things. Um, or like, yeah, there it is, Pythex. That's what I'm looking for. I should have started here. Oh, but I got to pass it. Um, Uh, let's just do this. 
a string. Okay, so it's not a... Doesn't look like it's a special character. Seems like it should be, but it ain't, so that's cool. Okay, makes it easy. So, at uh, any number of word characters. Nope. Double slash. We good. We're testing. All right, we're good. <laughs> yeah, that one's a little... That was a little buggy, nasty. I think that was actually the one that was like, you know what? I'm gonna test these. All right, so that's all testing. Oh, you know what? I could actually just do 10 of those too, right? All right, what happens if you do an empty one? Yeah, it works. Hmm. <laughs> Why are you odeering? Is that that pattern or is something on fire behind me? All right, get all this stuff out of here. Yeah, especially when you have to do the double slashes because I'm passing it in in quotes or whatever. Ugh. All right, I'm just gonna do one more tricky one of these and then go do something else because I can do these off stream. Like it's just banging through regex, right? So and this is one of the things I was talking about, like with the staying kind of one step away from green. So like, instead of trying to build the regex to start with, I'm just copying and pasting the exact thing. And then, oh, and then I can figure out if I screwed something up. Cause like that shouldn't have happened. Oh, is that cause that's the thing? There we go. Um, Oh yeah, <laughs> email. Ugh. I uh, I once tried to write some email um, pattern matchers, and learned very quickly that that was not a good idea at all. The one that gets me is lots of times I'll use uh, comments, so like you know whatever, and then comment test at example .com. and so many web forms think that that's an illegal. Uh, character when it's not um, and it just it burns me every time I'm like ah you should have done it better uh, but they don't so for this one we can just do start a string uh, pattern that star my mic's in the way I can't see the um, keys Oh, PyCharm, right? That should still pass. No, why didn't that pass? I was passing the thing straight back. How can it not pass? Oh, maybe I got the test wrong? No. What the hell? Pattern. Oh, because it's actually doing the collection of it, I think, maybe. All right, is that what's happening? Nope. Oh, why did you have to be a painful thing? What's going on? How about if we actually do the start symbol? Let's do that. Start with. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Paste into the wrong place, did you? <laughs> I feel like I've been hacked. I was wondering if I needed to interpret that, and I was going to be in trouble. Interpret that. Why is this puking? It's passing back. Is it catching that? Assertion error. Configure Python inter Python is not equal to configure. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have another? No. Okay, I'm gonna bail and start again. So what's gonna happen? So we're going to replace this with this. Nice. So now we're going to replace this with that. Why the hell does that fail? Configure Python interpreter dash help is not equal to with dash PyCharm. Oh, it's not matching somehow. How's it not matching? What am I doing wrong? Done like the question mark? Dot star? Uh, probably just dot star. No. <sighs> Why the hell not? Oh, wait, I don't have the new gift thing up. Uh, which one is it? Wait. I gotta put that on, uh... I don't know what I'm doing right now. Open recent. I think it was alpha. It. That's not it. That's it. There you go. Try a new GIF again. See if that doesn't work this time. Completely forgot to put that up. There we go. Much better. I need to drop that in so it's actually alive all the time instead of running off uh, PyCharm. All right, what the hell is going on with this one? So it's not matching this is the problem. We're going to back out. Right, so this works. Got it. And now we should just be able to hear. Oh, I wonder if the space is what's throwing it. Try that. No, that shouldn't be it. Okay, that worked. Space still matches. If we capture it, doesn't match. What the hell?
That doesn't make any sense to me at all. Ah, Bender. That's how I feel right now with this. So, if, <sighs> what is different here? Oh, maybe I don't need to block this out. Apparently. I don't, because I actually am trying to capture it. Okay, I know what the hell's going on now. <sighs> Shit. Um, now this is where we want one, right? Okay, got it. Whatever, it's cool. All right, let me try, see if there's any more hard ones, and then I'm going to bail on this, because this is just tedious. I mean, whatever, I'll, I'll do it. That's not the point, but I'd rather do something interesting on stream. So we did this one. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that one. That's fine. Straight URLs, whatever. Oh, I wanna do the GitHub ones. <laughs> Regex be like. Yeah, I'm going to make an assumption here because this doesn't tie into the URLs right now. Um, so when I see this pattern, I'm going to make uh, an assumption that it's a GitHub thing. Fail it. Yeah, right. I fall for the assumption game more than I would like to admit. All right, and so if we throw this in there, we get a pass. We're passing. Cool. All right, so now. That should pass. And we should be it. So you're going to go back here. I hope all these things only have one word. Is that still passing? Yep. And that's going to go here. And actually, we're going to do this. Just get a break right now because we did it differently. GitHub. So GitHub, I'm coming up with. Explicit. Where do you buy her from? From. Actually, wait, let's make sure we're working first before we start messing with stuff. Okay, that works. From. See, like you could do some kind of cool stuff. Well, it's already a link, so whatever. Um, but like you could break that out and then make this the link and actually link off to them or whatever. But that's not for this iteration. All right, one last run through and see if there's anything that we want to mess with. I just did that one. Oh, 
Oh, short and long ones. That's what I want to do. Um, so this is this is my same. I don't know if I showed you this one before, but this is the one that I do that makes the. Um, I've got a script that runs off launch D, which is cron basically, um, that fires an Apple script that just captures all the links that I go to every day. Uh, and so this is the code that turns those links into Markdown, which then gets picked up by my blog engine, which is Hugo and turns it into actual links. Um, so that's, that's what all this code is. And all I'm doing right now is cleaning up the format of the, the text basically. Um, just because it's, I don't know, I, I have no particular reason why I'm doing this other than it's, the idea occurred to me and so I'm doing it. Um, but now that I'm doing it, it's kind of interesting because one of the things I want to do is like after, well, you could do it like a monthly report of basically like how many times did I go to Google? How many times did I go to Stack Overflow? Because we'll have some amount of data to play with. Um, so that's what this is. Uh, I just wanted the, the links to look nicer or the titles to look nicer. Um, Hence the uh, the back and forth. <laughs> I also I've got filters in there, so like it's not everything that I go to. Like I filter out all my work stuff. I filter out localhost stuff. I feel, figure out like uh, right now I'm not putting Amazon links in there uh, until I get um, a script in place or until I put some code in place to make sure that it's not pass, you know, Amazon puts 50,000 characters at the end of the URLs. I've got no idea what those are. W once I chop all of those out, then I'll put in the things that I look at. But um, the there's a bunch of things right now that, that I clip out and then I actually go through every day and just like eyeball them and make sure it's not like, I don't know. The, the My biggest fear is that I like, I accidentally post a work link um, that won't really matter because it's all secured and like all that other stuff. But like, I just don't want to have like, I don't want anybody looking at me and going, you posted a work link filters. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> you got it. You got it. Um, oh, sorry. There is, oh, I already did this one. Oh, that one's already nice. I like that. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Uh, we're going to add that to the list though, because I do want to put Twitter in front of it. Um, uh, so actually I do want to do one other thing, which is I want to truncate the titles, like these long ass titles. Oh, you see that too? Nice. I really like it. I used Jekyll, um, for a while, for years. Um, and in fact, if you still, uh, it's going to bounce right now um oh you do it on github pages i didn't know they do hugo on there too i didn't know that um the i put it on my jekyll on my own server for the longest time and now i'm actually hosting the hugo site off amazon s3 um there's just an s3 bucket and you just i just throw stuff in there and then it's got cloud front in front of it uh which does all the so it's like it's super fast like um I mean, uh, here. Boop. So I'm, I'm really impressed with it. I'm guessing GitHub pages is also super fast. Like I'm sure they've got CDNs in front of everything too. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, so I've got a little, um, oh, Hey, cool. Oops. Went to the wrong place. Copy. Sweet. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like that. Powered by Hugo. I dig it. Stop the urn act. Nice. Don't use frameworks. Hey, I'm about to use Django. Nice. Cool, man. Uh, here's the question is do you have whoops everything's breaking everything's breaking there we go got you my RSA reader post some stuff and I'll uh I'll follow you I'll see it I have to get to uh 8,000 unreads but I'll definitely see it 
yeah. The writing stuff is just the the way that I'm doing it now is I write a little bit every day first thing in the morning. Sometimes I post it, sometimes I don't, but I just write just to get like in the practice of it, um, which is like uh, Stephen King has a book that's called On Writing where he talks about that. He's just like, I just write every day. I'm like, all right. All right. Yeah, it's it, it and like and then the other trick is I don't beat myself up about it if I miss days, right? I just decide that I'm going to do it and I do it whenever I can. But if I miss a day, I don't go, like, ah, crap. And then I, I don't use that as an excuse to stop. I'm like, well, I'll just do it tomorrow. Um, not like a procrastination thing, but like I'll make sure to hit it tomorrow. Um, and it's it takes a while to kind of get in the pattern of it. But now because it's a thing that I want to do, I do it first thing. Unless I have like an 830 or 730 meeting and then I don't do it first thing. And I often miss those days. But um Outside of that, I, I mainly get them, um, so it it works pretty well. takes takes practice, takes time to get into it, but I can recommend it as a as a thing that works for me, and it's definitely worth the experiment. Um, the where am I going? Uh, truncation. So where do we want to do truncation? Is the next thing. So we've got. So we're doing the cleanup titles. So I could just do it here, right? Because we. We've updated. This does all the updates because I want to. I don't want to truncate and then try and run the regex over it because some of the regex looks at the stuff at the end of it. So this would be a good place to do it. And then the next thing is just to build. Um... Oh, there you go. Right. One of these days, I shall remember to do this right here. Typo. Right on. Add a new theme. Yeah. And then wait, yours looks different than mine. Oh, content. Where's uh Oh, does it not make the public directory? This is interesting. Cuz my um Where am I going? Nope. Data, oh, static. Okay, yours just has a, so my, oh, okay, mine mine builds into public. That's what's happened. So when I run the Hugo command locally, it just builds into public, and that's what I deploy. On GitHub, I'm sure they just build it wherever it gets hosted. Um, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, you, okay, for GitHub pages, I gotcha, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that they actually ran that. I'm not surprised, really, because um, it's, like, I don't know if you ever used Jekyll, but, like, the Jekyll build time for my site was like 30 seconds, eh, 25, 30 seconds. Hugo's like, yeah, eight tenths of a second. Oh, OK, I gotcha. Oh, 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 OK, I gotcha. That makes sense. Um, that makes sense. I, I'm with you now. It took me a second. I didn't. I wasn't following. Um, but I, I got you now. Uh, yeah. The when I was with Jekyll, I was looking at GitHub pages, but like I had a server, and I was like, oh, I'll just host it on my own server. And now I like I completely want out of that business. Um, hence, jump into S3. So like I still, it's still my stuff. It's still my files. It's still you know my account or whatever. Um, but I don't have to manage a server, um, which is nice because I that's not my gig. Um, like I, I really enjoyed doing it when I was doing it. I was like, ooh, tinker around and all that stuff. But now it's just like, nope, that's not where I want to spend my time. I would rather spend my time figuring out regex. Um, so what we want to call this is truncate titles, right? So let's make a truncate titles. We'll deal with all the rest of this later. Uh, test JSON path. So let's come down here. Test truncate title. Actually, we test truncate title because we're only going to send a single title to it. 
Um, ah, I keep forgetting to do this. I've got a little hotkey for this. Whoops. If I type it right, I do. There we go. Let's make sure this runs. It runs. So now we got to figure out where we're going to truncate. So how many characters is this? That's 116 characters. Where do we want to do it? So what is here? I need to back this down a little bit so I can get a good idea what's going to happen. Um, actually, I should do this to see. I think that's 100%. Hmm. Okay, we'll just start simple. And look for execute. Uh, when? How many characters is that? 77? Oh, let's do 80. So we're just going to do a shameless green here. Make sure everything still passes. Oop, I goofed somewhere. Uh, that's why we do that test. So now actual equals UA truncate title title equals nothing. And this is going to explode. So we don't have that. We're gonna come here. We're gonna add truncate title somewhere down here. Truncate title, title, return. Return, nothing. This is still gonna blow up because we're not passing the right thing. But now if we come here and pass this, we should be live. We're live. Okay, now we can do our work. And we can get rid of this one. So title equals, we'll do the full thing here. We'll just pass that to go ahead and get that passing. We should still be passing. Yeah, we're still green. Cool. Uh, we'll just do this. Return title. This should still pass. Yep. All right. Uh, see ya. Uh, so Python truncate. Uh oh, yeah. Trunk. This function is called truncate, which behaves as a ceiling function for a negative number and a floor for a positive. I want to truncate text though. Python, truncate a long string. You sound delightful. So, oh, so you start at nothing 
and you go to 75 characters and you add to that some dots if the length of the data is greater than 75 otherwise it's data okay so oops title equals title I'm just gonna do this all the way through title title There's no way that's going to be the right uh, the right thing, which should be close, right? Hmm. So, okay, we can make this naive to start with. Uh, so we need to do like nine. That's probably not enough. Oh, 80, 81? Is that where we are? 81? Missed it. Bye. Oh, we got the right thing. There's just a space. Why is there a space? Oh, because there happens to be a space there. That could have confused the hell out of me. Ta-da! that but how would we truncate it on a word so All right, um, all right, we're passing. But let's see. Let's see if we can change. So the threshold's at 80. If it's 79, not only is it gonna fail because it's the wrong length but it's like it's cutting it at a word so how would you not cut it at a word so what we could do there's probably a way to do this but we're gonna try and figure one out anyways oops undo 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 green so if we split Let's see what else Data, yeah. Data, everybody's just doing the same thing. First, the white space of the text is collapsed. All white spaces are replaced with single spaces. If the result fits in the width that is returned, otherwise enough words are dropped from the end so that the remaining words plus the placeholder fit within the width. Well, that sounds like we don't need to build anything at all. <laughs> That's so awesome. Uh, so let's try that. I'm gonna guess title equals text wrap, which is not gonna work.
Oh. This exploded differently than I was expecting. Ah, see, I hate that. Oh, did I put... Ah, I put it in... There we go. Try that. Compile. Oh, because it's already running it. I gotcha. Green. There's our truncation. So this, yeah, this, okay. Uh, that's the truncation. And one last look at the patterns to see if there's anything else we want to deal with right now. Well, uh, how about this? Nah, oh, whatever. I was thinking maybe you could actually set it so that if it's you give it a, a, a width of like 80 to 90 characters. And then if it's greater than 90, you back it off to 80. So that that way you're not doing like clip words and like just leaving like one word out. I'm gonna do that. Truncate title, oops. Still didn't remember this one. <sighs> With padding. Actually, I guess I could just throw these all in truncate title, right? Because they're all just different things of the same thing. what I meant. So that's the expected, or sorry, that's the thing. So we want to we want to give it a couple words to play with. So this is gonna puke, and we are gonna move this into it. Uh, actually, let's do this. Dev. So that's gonna puke because that doesn't exist. this now it's gonna puke because the it's not returning the right thing we're gonna hard code that for a second just to make sure we're green we're green so now what we need to do is if you do length, right? 
LEN is length. Yeah, length of the data set of five L data. So if length of title is greater than ninety five, we're gonna shorten it. Else we're gonna shorten it to Alright, what's that gonna do? Fail. Why doesn't the JavaScript call? Okay, so. Wait a minute, did we do this right? Expected. Right. Oh. about that got it so if it's longer wait a minute oh okay yeah yeah so this is gonna fail because it's doing the truncation What we should be able to do now is if we call that here, we just return that just to test. They both passed, right? Okay. So then this becomes the real one. This hides. Test one more time. Ah, oh, why didn't that work? Oh, because we were still calling this. Gotcha. Now, what about now? There we go. So get rid of that. So there's a truncation, which will, oh, except we're doing that. How about now? Still work? Still works. So if it's greater than 100, we wrap it to 83. 84, 85, 86. Otherwise, we just pass it through. Which we don't need that. Okay, cool. There's a truncation. All the tests are passing. Cool. Add padding to truncation so it doesn't remove just one word. Sweet. Okay. Uh, that's in good shape. Um, okay, last thing to do for this is... Write file an MD4 file path. Oh, so this is picking up... Oh, no, you can't do that yet. Um... I want to get just the links from the current time, not all the existing links. But that's going to be more complicated because you'll have to run through this stuff twice, once with the uh once with once with the main piece of data and then once with the um your other just point in time piece of data. Which you could do. Build MD link, build template. So you could do that by. Let me 
really close these so I can think. I don't know why that's affecting my thinking, but it is. So write MD file, move this to a method. So that that's where you write it out to a specific path. Okay, so we can do two of those, that's fine. Where's the load? Trying to figure out how I want to split that. I don't think that's being used anymore, but we'll deal with that later. Build template date. Tomorrow. Yeah, it's not being used. Just clean it now. Yeah, because I'm just pushing it at midnight. So make sure that's really not being used. It is being used. But like we don't actually use it, right? Neither one of those is being used. Okay, so how do we want to try and build out clean data, get all the stuff, load configs, load JSON? So really what we need, can you just do it here without load JSON? Oh, this might work. So we're gonna load the configs, markdown root is there, JSON path, so we just call this twice and just lo do it without load JSON. I think it would work. Write MD file. Oh, there's no path associated with that? Or is there? Markdown root. All this stuff shouldn't be hard coded. Um, we're gonna try it. So let's back some stuff up before we explode things. Data. Oops, duplicate. So if we just run this now, what's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. 
looks like they both worked. Okay. Um, all right, so let's just try this. UA2. UA2 load configs. We'll still all do all the same stuff. UA2 markdown path. Desktop. JSON path. Desktop. We're not going to load the JSONs. We're going to do all the rest of this stuff. And see what happens. Ooh, save JSON. Where did that go? Their name, self JSON path. Why didn't it save out? Oh, maybe it did. That's the JSONs. Where did the markdown go? Format. Markdown root. Uh oh! I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Now, what's gonna happen? So that should be just the links from right now. That looks about right. And where's the... So this is still alive. This is, JSON's gonna be a lot smaller. 3KB, yeah. And the Let's actually just look at it as data. Oh, the pages I go. Ah, it worked. Yeah, so 102 versus 31. Okay, so cool. That that gives me the stream notes. Sweet. And it's all the same. Uh bunch of things. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. Uh, patterns, all the same patterns. Yeah, see, I almost want to do find the last. It feels like I should almost find the last thing and split it and move it over, but whatever. We'll just do them individually. Uh, this isn't too bad. Trunk vector app. Hey, vector. I have many windows open now. Okay, sweet. So that does, that gives me the show notes or the whatever. Uh, create a point in time copy. Oh yeah, so I just did that. Uh, whatever. Sweet. That's really cool. I like that. And I don't care that it's put pushing out um, all the rest of the stuff. Like I can I can copy and paste it. It just makes it a little easier, so I don't have to run the other script. And it's got the same uh, pattern matching. Does all the same patterns and same filtering and all that jazz. Um, cool. Okay, that's nice. And I'll put that somewhere else. I don't want to think about where I'm going to put that right now. Yep, it's in the list. If it's open, it gets in there. Unless you need me to filter it out. It doesn't need to be private. Um, 
Yeah, you actually show up in two places. So there's the everyday links, and then there's the links that I have open when I'm streaming. Uh, so you'll be on two pages. I'll give you two uh, two direct links. Um, and I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Um, I'm here. If you ever need to stop by. Ugh. Um. Yes, yeah, he had like three days in a row. The I I've written every day, but I haven't posted stuff. So like these days, the other thing I like about this link thing is at least keeps something going on the site, um, even when I'm not actually getting to write something. Now I don't want to get like thirty days in a row of that. It actually helps. So like seeing seeing a stack of those also helps me like get in gear to write something up. Um, so it's all these little hacky motivators in your head that that help me kind of do stuff or, and stuff that I want to do. Right. It's not that I'm just like, oh, I'm forcing myself to do it. It's like I want to do it. But for whatever reason, I need a little extra push and that helps get me there. So I, I don't understand why. Um, Oh, crap. Uh, I've actually got to run now. And I may be on later. I got to go deal with a work thing. Um, that I need to murder somebody for. Unofficially, NSA. Sorry, just kidding. Um, yes, yeah, so I may... If I can get it, I'll be back on... What's well, nine? Eh, maybe. I don't know. I may or may not be back on later tonight, but I should be back on tomorrow. So, in the meantime, take it easy. Be cool. Uh... Don't hack anything that's you shouldn't. I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> Have a good night. We'll see y'all. Take it easy.